application of sine cosine rule. Now, first of all, I just want to recap a few things. Um, the first thing is if it is a right angle triangle, okay, right angle triangle, of course, like this, and you need to use so ka twa, okay, which is help you to solve the problems. Now, if it is a non right angle triangle problem like this, so then you got two choices. You either use psi rule or cos psi rule. Okay, so either psi rule or cos psi rule, you got two choices. So therefore, if it is a non right angle triangle and it gives you, let's say, one angle here, let's say 45 degrees or 60 degrees. Okay, I just give you any random degrees, okay? Or um, a theta here and a 20 degrees here. This is count as two angles, okay? So this is one angle, two angle. Or this count as two angle as well. So we use sine rule. And the rule is, okay, sine A over... A, which is equal to sine B over B. Or if you're looking, this is for angle, if you're looking for the side length, you just flip it. It becomes A over sine A or equal to uh, B over sine B. Okay, so it depends. Okay, just if you look for the angle, you put the side length on top, like side angle, sine A over sine A and uh, sine A over A and sine B over B. If you look for the side length, you just flip it. So it's A over side A, B over side B. Now, if it is a non right angle triangle, of course, and it's only given one angle, which is let's say 40 degrees, or something like that, it's because it's only one angle, so you use your cos side rule. Okay? So the rule is C square equal A square plus B square minus. 2ab cos of c. This is the rule you use, okay? Or if you re rearrange this, okay, it can be written as cos of c is equal to a square plus b square minus c square all over 2ab, okay? And the first one here is for finding the side length and the second one here okay is to find out their size angle okay so if you don't know how I, I get these equations please look look onto my um, watch my uh, videos on some cosine rule okay now let's try some of the problems okay so um, have a look Two angles in a triangle are 25 degrees and 108 degrees. If the longest side is 23 centimeters, find the length of the shortest side, correct to one decimal places. So you know that one angle is obtuse. Okay, so good to know that. So therefore, you know that the, the triangle is obtuse triangle. Now I just sketch a diagram first, okay? So I just quickly draw this one first, just one triangle out and just rub one, okay? Roughly. So what I do, okay, so the up two tri triangle over one a, a 100, I mean, um, over 90 degrees, so which is 108 here, okay? And 25 can be anywhere. I just write 25 here, 25 degrees. Now, you know that, okay, this, this angle here, 108 and 25 degrees, and this angle here, we need to sort it out because we don't know which one is um, the shortest side and which one is the longest one. Of course, we already know that opposite of 108 is the longest one because the longest side always opposite the largest angle, okay? Please keep that in mind for me. So before I do anything, I just work out this missing angle first. So I go 108, okay, at, okay, 25 degrees, equal to 
equal to 133 degrees. And now 100 and 180 degrees minus 133, okay, so your answer is 47 degrees. Sorry, 47. So I fix it up, 47 degrees. So this is 47 degrees. So the longer side is 23. Sorry, I just have to go back first. So the longer side, okay, the longer side is 23 centimeters, as therefore is opposite the largest angle. So which is 23 here? Centimeters. The question says find the shorter side length. Okay, the so shorter side is opposite the smallest angle which is 25 degree is the smallest angle opposite of this which is x now you know that they give you more than two angles okay so which is sine rule obviously so then you look for sine length is just opposite of this okay 23 of um opposite of 108 degrees and x is opposite 25 so the rule is i just write it out first x over sine of 25 degrees okay is same as 23 over sine of 108 degrees then i time both side by 25 so if i time by side 25 i time this by side of 25 degrees and cancel this out and your x is equal to 23 sine of 25 degrees all over sine of 108 degrees so therefore sorry i just going back i keep pressing the wrong button and then therefore x is equal to 10.2204 and so on but because the answer is asked the question asked for correct to one decimal place so I just write up to here 10.2 oh, 10 before you write 10.2 please note the next number is 2 less than 5 so therefore the answer is 10.2 so because it's application so you say therefore okay the length okay the length of the shortest side is 10.2 centimeters now let's move on to next question Arlen drove 72 kilometers from town A to town B on a bearing of 245 degrees he then turned and drove 93 kilometers on a bearing of 130 degrees to town C Find the distance from town A to town C correct to one decimal place. So we need to draw a diagram out. Now, if you're not, not familiar or you're not very good at um, bearing, please watch my videos on uh, compass and two bearings. This, that will help you okay, to draw this um, sort of uh, diagram with bearing. Okay, so um, let's go. So you start from A to B is on 245 degrees. So I just, and then you know that it's go down further to 130 degrees. So that I draw, I, I draw town A up a little bit. Okay, so which is A up there, here. Okay, so this is A and it go 245 degrees. So because from no, bearing is always start from north and it go clockwise. So from here, north. And it go 180 add a little bit because it's 245 80 okay uh, plus 65 which is 245 degrees or 245 minus 180 should give you 65 so it's here so which is to be a draw right reference point first so this is 72 kilometers and from here to here is 245 degrees there you go. And then what happened? He turned and drove 93 kilometers on the bearing of 130. So this is, of course, this is B. 
and then from here you go 130 this is 90 130 add a bit so that's roughly okay so because it's 93 degrees it's longer than 72 i mean 93 kilometers so longer than 72 kilometers so you just write it out and draw a bit longer so it makes more sense so which is 93 kilometers here and of course i have to draw reference point and this is c there you go now the question asks the distance from a to c so i just connect these two together so which is from here sorry i just draw this first and then this is it okay so now the question asks this a to c so i let i make a letter x first so obviously it's not enough in more information to find x yet i need to find out all other information first from um, the bearing given now let's focus on point eight first 245 degrees so but from here to here is 180 correct and then i need to find out this angle so 245 minus you know it's um minus 180 it should give you 65 it's already work out there so just write it out so which is 65 degrees is that okay and then because of this is 65 degrees and this also 65 because alternate angles in parallel lines are equal it's just like this i just draw it for you see like this if you're not sure okay just draw this see there you go okay and this line and this line is parallel that's why okay now because from here to here is 130 degrees so 130 degrees so therefore to work out this angle here it just go 130 degrees minus 65 so which is equal to 65 degrees so this means that this angle here is 65 degrees there you go okay now i'm just redraw the diagram of diagram out for you so it makes it easier for you to see so just just like this okay just draw it out like this so this is a b c and this is x here and this is 65 degrees and 93 kilometers here and then 72 kilometers see so now you can see it's one angle given, right? So therefore, you use cosine rule. So opposite of this, we call C. Doesn't matter, okay? Just remember opposite of, of the sine and angles is the most important. The rest are just doesn't matter, A or B. So now I just write X squared is equal to 93 squared plus 72 squared and then a minus 2 times 93 times 72 okay and then cos of 65 degrees sorry i just need to now if i put this in my calculator okay i get i get equal i get six uh, eight hundred sorry eight thousand four hundred and twenty seven point five eight and so on right so now x equals square root of this 8427.58 square root and then of course i'm not going to put these numbers in i've just put square root answer equal 91.8 kilometers because it's at one decimal place okay so now you say therefore okay the distance the distance okay is 91.8 kilometers thank you so much for watching my videos